Edmund Butler was only 17. His family had just had a celebration sending him off to prom. But last July, Butler was found dead in his car here at South Leibold and Gilroy Streets in southwest Detroit. Dead from a single gunshot wound to the back of the head. This Detroit police interrogation video is of 17-year-old Zaire Brooks. Brooks was Butler's lifelong best friend, and in the video, he admits to detectives he is the one who shot and killed Edmund Butler. While police search for Butler's killer, we're told Brooks continued to act like his friend, even attending Butler's funeral. Now we can take you to this preliminary hearing inside 36 District Court Judge Kenneth King's courtroom today, where we found out why a person would murder his best friend. So tell, tell us what happened. Why did you do that? Y'all want the honest truth. In the police video, Brooks explained that he plotted to meet Butler to buy $200 of marijuana from him, but it was a setup. Brooks says it was a robbery and he shot his best friend because he would identify him as the robber. So you felt like if you robbed him, you would have to kill him because he'd come back? Yeah, I'm just like, that's why.